So just like what we had uh, from the sign rule, the core sign rule, we are going to also to consider uh, the area rule, which is the calculation of the area. Uh, as we do understand that in a normal uh, right angle to triangle where we use to work with uh, a right angle triangle, considering the base and the perpendicular height in this case, which is H, that is the perpendicular height, you can consider the area being half of the base times the perpendicular height. When it is now a non-right angle the triangle where we do not have this right angle triangle, and this triangle is given as A, B, C. Remember, this is A, this is B, and this is going to be C. The area of a triangle can be taken from half of A, B, the sine of C, meaning to say we are considering the two sides affected by the sign in between those two sides, which is the included angle. So working with the A and B, the sign is the included angle. So if I work with the A and C, it means the angle there is going to be B. So it can also be given as half of A times C, which is half of AC times the sine of the angle in between, which is the sine of B. It can be taken from B and C, which is the area can be taken uh, also from half of B and C, which is the product of BC times the sine of the angle in between, which is the sine of the included angle A. This is the area. All this part is giving us the area. So we want to prove when it is a non-right angle triangle, either of these, if it works, then it means it is the same throughout. So how are we going to prove? That's the question. Uh, because we need this uh, in the application then later on, but you need also to know the proof of the area. So let's consider a non-right angled triangle, which is called ABC, all right? You are given a non-right angled triangle, ABC. Just like usually what we had, if this is A, this side is going to be A. If this is B, this side is B. If this is angle C, this is side C. Having constructions made from A to B, which is the best, having the perpendicular height H, just like what we had before, and we're just going to call this AD. So we are going to just let this AD to be equal to the perpendicular height, which is H, and that is the height, uh, the perpendicular height of triangle ABC. That's the perpendicular height of this triangle ABC with BC as the best. So that is with the BC as the best. Okay, so this is what we have. So if this triangle is to be considered separately, we consider this triangle, the wall of this triangle A, B, C, from separate triangles. We were going to see that this is now a right angle, the triangle, because there is a perpendicular height. Whenever you are given this from a right angle triangle, the area does not change. Half of the base times the perpendicular height. So from this concept, we are going to see that the area of triangle ABC taken from the concept of uh, half times base times perpendicular height, it was going to be half of the base, which is BC. Uh, in this case, that is BC, this BC, which is A times the perpendicular height, which is H. So we are going to have our formula as half AH, which is half of the base times the perpendicular height, where this is the best, and this is the perpendicular height. All right. This formula that we are seeing here is not exactly what we need. We need a formula that is of this nature, half A, B, science C, half A, whatever that you can have or from this. So can we get rid or have this H? Because already there's the A that we need, but this H, our formulas here, they are not having the perpendicular height. They are written without the perpendicular height. So we are going to formulate what is 
in terms of h we are going to have h as the subject i mean all right so let me indicate this so that you understand me uh this h we want to get rid of this h but as we get rid of this h we do not want anything to do with a tan we do not want anything to do with a cos we want to be with a sign so how are we going to get rid of this h or how are we going to formulate an equation which consists of the H, but having a sign, having a sign, because the sign is part of our formula. So meaning to say we must consider the ratio of a sign from the trigonometrical ratios. Sign is opposite over hypotenuse. So meaning to say for us to have H, which is the opposite, C is the hypotenuse. Using this triangle, B is the hypotenuse the one that faces the 90 degrees. So it depends with which triangle are you going to work with. In triangle A, B, D, in triangle A, B, D, we are going to notice that from the sine uh, ratio, which is opposite over the hypotenuse, the opposite there is H. So we are going to notice that uh, the sine of angle B is equal to H, which is the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is C. Remember, we want to have H. So let us make H the subject. So therefore, uh, if we cross multiply one and H here, that was gonna be H and C times the sine of B is C, the sine of B, all right? That is, you worked with this triangle. In the same case, you could have worked with, with the other triangle, but uh, from this one, I want you to see something. If this H is equal to the C, sine of b and you substitute it here in place of h substitute in place of h so we are going to obtain our area of triangle abc as area of uh, triangle abc is going to be half of a times h h this h that we got c sine b that is c sine of b is it one of the formulas that we have? Is it one of the formulas of A, C, sine B? This is one of the formulas. We have proved that. So in the same sense, we can prove this, we can prove this in the same sense. All right, let us see. Uh, we have already proved this is enough. Okay, so it depends on the diagram that you are given. Uh, but if you are to notice in this other triangle using also the ratio of a sign in this triangle uh, ADC, all right? In uh, triangle ADC, all right? Let's remove this. All right, like this in uh, triangle ADC. You are going to notice that from this, we are going to have the sign of C opposite over hypotenuse. That is from the angle C. The sign of C, being opposite, that is going to be H over the hypotenuse, which is uh, B. So that is H over B. Like previously, we need H. So therefore, we can make H the subject, 1 times H. That is, H is equal to B times the sine of C, which is B sine C. This here can be substituted just like previously, like what we saw here. So we're going to notice that this same area that we wrote as half A, C sine of B was going to be also written as the area of triangle A, B, C was going to be half of A times H, which is our H is B sine C. So that is B sine of C. So as you can see, we formulated the area there. And the area formula, by the way, can be used even to prove uh, the sign rule. Remember, we worked with the sign rule before. So this is what you're going to do in the same sense. We can prove all other formulas. So that's your area rule uh, that you're going to use. So like I said, we can also use this. Uh, remember, we proved the sign rule. So let's prove uh, the sign rule from area rule. The sign rule from area. All right. So if you are to notice here, we can equate these because it's the same area of triangle ABC. So these two areas, they, they are written differently, 
representing the, tri the area of the same triangle. So there's no way the area of triangle ABC is the same as the area of triangle ABC is the same area. So this can be equated to this, meaning to say half AC sine of B can be equated to half AB sine C. It can be equated to half AB uh, the sine of C. There's something common, the half and the half can cancel. The A and the A can cancel. You are remaining with the C sine B. C sine of B equal to B sine of C. So we can even, remember the concept, you want to remove B and C, so you simply divide by BC. So divide uh, by BC. So if we divide by BC, that is going to be BC, BC like this. The C and the C cancels, the B and the B cancels. So you formulated an area, uh, I mean, the, the formula for the sine rule, which is the sine of B over B, which is equal to the sine of C over C. So we have proved this from the area rule. So you can prove the sine rule from the area rule. Also, if you were to consider the, the, the one of the A, you can have the same thing. You have sine A over A is equal to sine B over B equal to sine C over C. So as we can see, these formulas, they can be used hand in hand where we have got the part of the area used to prove the sine rule. But this part of the major topic uh, class here was to prove our area rule of uh, from a non-right angle triangle. So like I said, we are going to see the applications now in general where this area rule is used. But as I said before, you must consider that when working with the area, half of A and B are the given sides and there must be an included angle. So it's half of the given side. If this is A and this is B, so it's going to be half of B, uh, A, B times the sine of angle C. That is the condition. So this is an included angle. So you're going to see uh, the applications thereafter. But for now, that's it uh, till we meet again.